Hello YouTube, this is KillerWarrior21, aha, and I am playing SimCity, yep, that is correct, SimCity, and you may notice a little something different, or a lot different, like, what happened to that city area I just finished, different, there's water that's running through the city, and the ground's not green, and there's bridges, What's going on? You're losing money, but you got smiling faces. Look at all that happiness. Yep, you are correct. This is very different. This is the map I referred to in my last session. Uh, this is the map that I've been taking time away from the other maps. That I... I shouldn't say map. This is region and city plots, because those are the technical terms. But this region right here, this is the Rambling Badlands region. And uh, I'm on this side of the Rambling Badlands. Badlands. Lands. Lands. This person, don't know who they are. They own two plots and they, they're very they're very nice. I talked to them over the the wall. So anyways. Uh I started this plot and the reason why I took this plot was one I was I was bored <laughs> uh, as all things start off with you one day you get bored next thing you know you did something stupid um, but I was bored and I wanted to play on a on a on a region that had people on it and this had a whole bunch of people on it and they they mostly left right now so I'm kind of alone again sucks to be me but I wanted to, you know, pick a region that was new. I wanted to pick a new region because I didn't want to play on the old ones. So this is new. And the reason why I picked this particular plot is somebody abandoned it and left like, let's see, they left 1,200 and... Oh, not twelve hundred. Twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah, twelve thousand five hundred dollars left. And all they did was, and I kid you not, when I took it over, it was build this avenue up to here, then build this avenue to like right here. And that was it. I don't know how they blow through like thirty-seven, you know, thousand dollars by building two avenues, but they did. <laughs> And so I saw it, and I was like, "All right, there's gonna, there's a river, and all the resources on this island. I kid you not. Coal's over here, ore's over here, and the oil's like right there. So all the resources are on that side of the island. So you know, I looked at it, and I was just like, you know what? This is not a grid city." You know, challenge accepted. Let's take it over and be the, you know, let's, let's rule this region. And that was actually my goal, was literally to take this city that was literally the lowest city you can get. This, like, I started with $12,000. Uh, the only thing that could be worse is starting with nothing or negative. And if you start with negative, you have to start a city to support that anyway, so. And I'll get into that in just a second. So. I started this and I built it up to be the superpower it is and it actually wasn't losing a lot of money um, beforehand. I'm only losing so much money because of, look, look city specialization is 11,000. That's, if I took out city specialization, which basically means any buildings that belong into this category. So if I took everything that belonged into this category, including the petroleum, uh, headquarters, the trading headquarters, and the metal headquarters, all the trade ports, and this advanced coal mine with, oh, it used to be an ore mine right there, but I blew that up, uh, smelting factory, and this uh, oil refinery. If I took all that out and filled them in with residential, commercial, or industrial zoning, I would, I'd be in the green again. But I don't. I won't because I like this because look I'm still making money that's all that matters it's the bottom line are you making money yes you're good so that's what I did 
and I literally single-handedly funded this monstrosity and I'm starting to regret it and those who've built arcologies and actually have gotten them to work because I've only built an arcology once and I never got it to work because of the bug or glitch or whatever you want to call it that um, EA had where you would build you know a great works with one city and if you go to another city it wouldn't be built at all or even like the plans being laid out so you could actually build a completely different <laughs> great works and so I never really you know see the benefits of it but they fixed that apparently in this uh, update 8 and it actually worked but now I have this what I like to call this very big problem as you can see there's cars all the way around here these cars are from the arcology I understand that but they're spawning non-stop from their arcology these cars I don't know where they came from but they are just as boned because they are literally trapped this long line of traffic I don't even understand why and I don't get it but it's just I, I and the only reason and I single like I said I single-handedly built funded that arcology and I was able to do it because I had a lot of metal and alloy from the smelting factory and then I got this trade headquarters I got the um, the electronics division and then I just bought TVs and sent it over and that's how I did it somewhat cheaty but who cares uh, but the only reason why I got it is because I wanted to get more students isn't that weird and, and if you look at it you can see my students I used to have students going to this but now they stop but now I have 800 almost 900 p you know, students coming there I have like almost 700 students coming here and it's just not enough students still like I'm not able to get to 3,000 I really want to get to the next uh, and this is what I should have done but I decided to do something else pretty stupid instead I got the school of engineering and then I got the school of commerce or business or whatever it's called and not the school of science if I got the school of science I'd be able to do more research and I need to do more research because I want to get the uh, upgrades for the nuclear, yeah, the thermo reactors, you know, Gen 2 and the fast neutron reactor. But in order to get that, I need the School of Science. And I got the School of Commerce because I was wanting to support my businesses because I didn't want them to just tank. In tank, they did not, but now I can't get enough students. So that's the only reason why I did it. And now I'm regretting it because I never had this, this awful, this god-awful line. But, that's okay. Maybe some of you can also see, I did a different pattern with this city. I'll let you, I'll let you look at it. You know, just see if you, you see something different. Alright, just, just scream it out if you see it. Go ahead. Alright, no, no? No one? Can't see anything? Well, because I'm not an idiot, I, I know that you can't actually talk to me. Uh, because this is a recording, and you're seeing it postscript, so... Uh, the city layout is actually different. Yes, that is true. Yes, for all of you, pat yourself on the back, you got that right. I have no four-way intersections, and I have, um, like, no dead ro and dead-end roads. Like, I have six, technically. Um, one here, here, um, here, the avenue just ends right there, which you should call that a dead end. Um, where else do I have? Point here, uh, here, and here. Is that six? Yeah, that's six. So six roads. It was a dead end. Everything else, it's a T or three-way intersection, or it connects all the way through. Alright, it doesn't just dead end somewhere. So really good traffic management right there I have like no traffic except for you know people trying to get on and then 
during the rush hour I do get traffic here um, trying to get out of the city because I guess they're all trying to get out of the city. I guess a lot of my worker force is actually from the uh, arcology now. Weird. But that is okay because this city also single-handedly supports that arcology. Now I also got a second city right here. I'm loading it up for you. And the only reason why I got the city, um, y y y yucca, yucca. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, my original city was Agave Bend, or Banks, or whatever it's called. I forget. It's not important. Not importante. Um, what is important? I got this because I was afraid that I wouldn't have like the 300 workers in order to um, build the arcology. So I got this, and this was this was an abandoned city too. And this used to this was owned by another player, and it looked pretty, very pretty. It looked it looked really nice, um, but. With cities that look pretty, you can almost guarantee that they don't really function well. And I put function over form any day of the week because that will give you the money. That gives you the big bucks. Um, but a lot of people don't like that because it looks boring. It is boring. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I and, and when I do these videos, I just I look at the videos when it's all done and I like said man I wish I could have made it more entertaining and then I upload it <laughs> but it's just one of those things where sometimes the gameplay is just very boring and it's not really interesting to look at and so I have to make it more interesting and I can only do so much because I'm not a genius I'm not one of these geniuses that understand the ins and outs but it's okay. And as you can see, this this city also has the same problem. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And I think it goes all the way back here or something like that. It goes some ridiculous amount. This is three, la three lanes of traffic. Three lanes wide of traffic. That after they get past here, then they go down to the one lane. Or they go to the two lanes and then just cut each other off. And so it's just ridiculous how bad traffic is. And unlike my other my other 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 city, where I have like a three-way like right at the uh, the end of the highway, and then you start building your avenues inside your city. I have it further up here, and I have this overpass or this bridge here. And uh, the reason why I did that, and T, T or three-way intersections, they're good because uh, the the road that that goes straight through has better has better traffic management than the one that comes across. So technically, these this road here, people coming in and out of the city, um, or trying to get out of the city right here they get a little bit longer traffic light so they get in and out a little quicker than the people are trying to come onto the street here so because of that uh, you're, if you have this design people can get in the city real quickly and then they can get out the city relatively quickly and if you look at my city over there that's what I have it set up and it works fairly well until you get this huge amount of people trying to get in to your city and then it doesn't work very well I don't think it works anywhere when you have what is it said how many, how many, how many people are supplying they're supplying okay um, this is split between how, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven divided by. Well, let's say it's a thousand. So, so I get a thousand shoppers, a thousand workers, and um, for the half, <laughs> fifty thousand. Let's just say that. Let's just lie and say it's fifty thousand. Okay, 
So I have 250,000 people trying to get into my city. When you have 250,000 people trying to get to any city, you're going to have problems like this. So this isn't really bad road design on my part or anything. It just doesn't work, period. Now, I do have a little more traffic because this is not as diverse in the road layout as the other city. This is very straight shot to one end, then you can turn and then go to the other end. But as you can see, I do have these brakes here, so if you are trying to go from one end to the other, I mean, yes, you will go here and then make the U-turn to come back. But if you are trying to get, like, you start here, and you're trying to get to here, or here, no, if you get here, you're trying to get to here, then you can go up, over, and back, and it'd be quicker. So, I do get traffic. This is rush hour traffic, so it clears up. I'm not too concerned about it. That's the thing. You, If you have rush hour traffic, and after rush hour, everything clears up, Don't you don't have to worry about traffic. So, basically, you have 12 hours to clear up traffic. So, at 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock a.m., if you have no traffic on the road, you're okay. You don't have to worry about it. But if you still have traffic on the road at six six o'clock in the morning, then you got problems. You got to figure things out. So, oh no, don't do that. There we go. So, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. These brilliant suggestions that I'm giving—they're not really my brilliant suggestions. Does that make sense? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. No. Anyways, um, you can <laughs> you can learn a lot off of YouTube, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah. So what the heck? I just wanted to tilt so you guys can see this ridiculous traffic. So there's a uh, there's a YouTuber. His name is uh, Halby. Uh, Halby is spelled A H A L B Y. Halby. Um, and he does, he does, like, mostly StarCraft and the Hearthstone videos now, and he did scrolls, and, but he, but he did a, a series of SimCity videos, and, uh, very informative guy, he's a very smart guy, um, and he figured out basically everything there is to know about, what is this, oh, it's on fire now, some jerk lighted on fire. It was my cops? Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so they're so they're running out. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this too. So when people start running out of your jails, that's a problem. You don't want them to run out of the jails, because then your police just doesn't care about catching people at that point. But he does a he did a, a whole bunch of videos on. Uh, on some city, even some tutorial videos. Uh, the video where where I in the first video where I just put dirt road everywhere and just RC at everything to get a whole bunch of money. That was actually his idea, and I took it because it's a great idea. As you can see, you get a lot of money really quickly, and then you have a million dollars to do whatever you want as far as the layout goes. Um, which I spent more than that to get in this city fix, but uh, I'll get to that in a second. And he even figured out how to, uh, you know, that uh, design where uh, I have nothing but, you know, three-way intersections and roads that don't just stop, so you have to U-turn. Uh, he did a video where he did a city, and it was just a very successful city. So learned a lot from him and not showing you guys. So if you really want to know, if you really want to, uh, want to understand, um, check out his videos. <laughs> so. And uh, Fraps is telling me that I've got like 10 frames a second, which is really bad. So usually floats around lowest 14, but now it's 10. There must be all these stupid cars trying to get on the road. So. Sorry if it looks a little laggy. It's laggy for me too, so don't feel bad. 
but I spent more than a million dollars fixing. I spent, let's see, I spent, let's see, 1.7 million dollars fixing this place. This is, how, this is how broken this guy had it. He had this beautiful city, but it was losing 20 grand an hour. And the reason why he had, was losing 20 grand an hour is because he had it as a casino city, but he hadn't specialized in casino city. He just had it as one. He just had casinos. And they weren't successful because he wasn't successfully, um, he wasn't very successful tourist trap. Or as if you watch my earlier video, my video before this, terrorist traps. So he went bankrupt. I bought it and I fixed it, but it took me forever to fix it. But I have it fixed, and one of the things he had was the solar panels, and, you know, as, as homage to the guy who previously owned this city, I decided to do solar panels, and, you know, fun times for all. It worked. So, I also have all my connections. I even have an airport, so... If I take over another city, you know, I can have another airport and then I can have, you know, people fly between them, commuters. But does I don't care about that really. I did that just for the regional benefit for everyone. So everyone can get their city halls with uh with the helipad on it. But one of the things I do have in here is the progressive office. Yes, the progressive office. I bought that DLC. When I mean bought, I got it for free. And the reason why I got it for free is because it was a let's see, third party DLC. Now, I shouldn't say third party because uh Maxis and EA are the one who's developed it, but they are not the ones who funded it. It was Progressive who funded it, just like Nissan funded these Nissan Leaf charging stations. Um, so that was free as well. I also have this Red Cross uh, Relief Center, which wasn't free, but I'll get into that in a second. But the reason why the Nissan and Progressive offices were free is because they're the ones who went to EA and says, we will provide you funding if you could provide a object in your game, in this case these buildings, that does a specific uh, function to your city, um, and EA said, okay, fine, we'll do it. And so they did. So Nissan got these charging stations, and the charging stations, you, you can basically think of it as f happiness for energy. So if you have an abundance of energy, and you need happiness, like basically it's like free park, but it's not really a park, so it doesn't cost you much in the way. Well, parks don't cost you much anyway, but it's basically I'm trading my energy for happiness. So you think of it like that. That's that's kind of a good trade-off. The progressive is more like a commercial building. Uh, the progressive office is like you take. You know, people want to go shop. They shop there. They find their their insurance. You know, and uh, they have these happy shoppers leaving. But this is this has two purposes. One is for the shoppers. Two, which is the main thing, is for your insurance coverage. I have it at 90%, which is the highest. You can go all the way down to zero percentage coverage. And basically, just have this as in a commercial building. But I like to spend money on r stupid, ridiculous things just because I can. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, Progressive, they have this coverage thing, and I have it set 9%. And what they do is, uh, if you have it set up in your city, if you have it from 0 to 90, so if I have it 50%, for example, what it does is it covers all your ploppable buildings. So any building that you can plop down, it covers. That's what it actually covers. So, with that in mind, if I plop, like, okay, let's say I plop down the garbage here, and then a tornado comes and destroys the garbage. I had 50% coverage, so 50% of what this building would cost, I'm not sure what its attachments, but we're going to say with the attachments, it gives me that back. An insurance claim. So, 
That way, if you build something and it gets immediately just... It's basically for people who have bad luck, right? So if you have bad luck when you go to build a city, because I don't necessarily have bad luck. Like, I build a city and I can go through a, I can go through building a city and never see a disaster. Ever. On a, on a plot of land. And some people say, oh, that's good luck, huh? Yeah, that's great luck. However, I play in a city where I had been hit by a disaster every hour. So, um, it really is random. It's so random, I don't even know how to explain it. But, it's really not necessary to have it. But I have it there for the, the shopping benefits. And you really, could, like you said, you can put this down to, to zero percent. And it's every, you know, ten percent is, you know, a thousand dollars. So because it goes up by ten percent, so it goes up by a thousand dollars a month. So I get nine more thousand dollars if I put it to zero, but I care less. I just don't care. One thing I do care is about the traffic, but like I, I don't really care because it's not like I'm getting burnt down buildings and things like that and I don't care about my approval rating at this point because look they're 86 percent with traffic being bad and you know the buildings being burnt and sick people dying like I don't like I don't see a reason why I need to go any higher like my city's not burning completely to the ground because my my emergency response can go anywhere you know just how long does it take who knows but uh yeah Oh, I did. Oh, I almost forgot. So the DLZs, like I like them because it, like in my last videos, because I say it, you know it expands the gameplay, adds depth to the story or whatever. But uh, these little add-on DLCs, there's Progressive and Nissan and even the uh, Red Cross. Those aren't really doing anything as far as for the gameplay goes. Nothing real major. But um, those two were free. Red Cross wasn't. The Red Cross was ten dollars, but I'm going to tell you why. Um, EA set up this deal where if you buy this, the proceeds of uh, this game, so I guess their profits for for making it. So how how much their profits is for making a ten dollar DLC is I don't know, but uh, basically the profits from that uh, after the year. So basically it's up on Origin to be bought for a year. At the end of the year, they take all the money that they got from it, all the profit money, and they give it to Red Cross. And I'm okay with supporting a non-profit organization. Um, the one thing I don't know is how much the administrative cost to donate a dollar is. Like, what that ratio is, or percentage. Because, like, there is some, you know, I like to, I, I don't have a problem with non-profit organizations. I do have a problem where I donate, you know, Every dollar I donate, 90 cents of that dollar goes to administrative costs, which to me that doesn't make sense. Like, if I'm donating a thousand dollars, let's say, I don't want <laughs> 900 dollars of my thousand dollars to go to paying for administrative costs, whatever that means. If that's paying for people and their salaries, like, if that's the case. You're not one. You're not marketing very well. Two. You're not. You're not really organized all that well. Like your administrative organization is not very up to par. And three. That's wasting my money to go to something I believed was going to benefit whatever the cause I I benefit. So why why you greedy bastards? I'm sorry. But that's what I that's how I feel about it. So um, you really if you do donate money, you should donate to an organization you know and trust and you should know how much their administration cost is. Um, for me, I for me, I like fifteen to twenty percent. Twenty percent is being the max. That's a fifth. And fifteen's a sixth. No, it's not. Is it? What do you think about it? No, it's not. Well yeah kind of it's over uh, it's just, I don't know it's a six let's just say that it's really not but it will say it is because it's really 90% 
is a six at fifteen, so yeah, kind of is. Who knows? But you know that's. But I can understand that you have to, you have to pay for. Let's say you're 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 sending uh, mosquito nets and food supply to Africa. I understand that part of sending the mosquito nets and you know emergency rations to Africa from the United States, for for example, costs money in transportation. You know, as far as transporting them. So I understand that you have to cover that cost. But you shouldn't be covering. Like, it, I don't think it would cost that much when you think about it. Like, if I give you $1,000, and if it's 20%, for example, that means out of my 1000 you're only taking 200 of those dollars, and you're buying $800 worth of food and mosquito nets, and then you're sending that over. When you add my $1,000, all the hundreds are hundreds of thousands of dollars of other people who donate then maybe my thousand dollars like would cost like will pay for the cost of shipping but that would be it then I could uh, like all right I feel great because when you think about it when it's all said and done my thousand dollars just bought the plane tickets for all the supplies I don't care because then that means you know a hundred thousand dollars of actual pl supplies go over and I'm not trying to support or or you know bring awareness to you know people in Africa who need food and mosquito nets even though they do uh, but and I'm not trying to su suggest any organizations and I'm not trying to say people who don't support them are horrible people I'm, I'm just saying like when it comes to administrative costs that's what my my viewpoint is so and god this dump is filling quick I can't burn any quicker though that's the thing I'm gonna have to build another oh that's because I'm at 2,000 oh shoot at 200,000, you need like two everything. If I could build four um, incinerators, then I wouldn't need to, but because I can't, I'm gonna have to build another one somewhere, which is a problem. But I don't care. So, this is what's been taking up my time. I, I know I took up most of your guys' time, um, but that's my job. <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to be some sort of relief from your day job or whatever you were doing before you started watching my videos. So, if you find it very, if you find my videos somewhat inform informative or entertaining or just plain stupid, give me a like or a thumbs up. I'll take for stupid. I don't care. <laughs> give me a thumbs up for you know, you know the like or thumbs up for the being stupid or if you really like enjoy it or you really like to to just follow me to s say how much you hate me um click that subscribe button otherwise you know this is killer warrior 21 and um i'm gonna oh i also last note is i'm gonna start i'm sorry if i hit the mic right there i'm gonna start um playing in the other region and i need to know what kind of design I'm going to do on the city. Yes, I'm pretty good at grids and I'm fairly okay with this. Um, one thing I don't do is curved cities or like angled cities because I find angles to be a waste of space. And this is me being function over form again because um, I'm not really an artist so I don't find the, uh, the how pretty things look. I really don't care. I, I really care about how it f you know how it functions and right now the city looks like it's just about to blow up but I, I'm not too concerned because I'm getting lots of money <laughs> but I need I need a I need to design um, the next city so also um, the news is uh, cities tomorrow the expansion pack is coming out on Tuesday looking forward to that so you can definitely uh, I'm gonna definitely do a video on Tuesday whether or not it be up on you know the interweb on YouTube um, it's probably gonna be Thursday because to, to for my computer it takes for every 10 minutes of a recording time I have it takes like an hour to render so and then every let's see every 10 minutes to upload to YouTube takes about two hours so you can do the math it takes forever to if I was to render a 30 minute plus video it takes three hours at least 
and then to upload it, it takes at least six hours to YouTube and so that's basically a, a day and why it's rendering I can't play any games because it's using CPU power and it would just be bad and then why it's uploading I can't play any online games which means I can't really play SimCity because I'll lose the server connection and it'll be bad for that too so fun times for all <laughs> this is Killer Warrior 21 letting you look at the beautiful cars in the distance this smog with the smog, I don't know, but beautiful lights in the distance, signing off, see you later, bye.